this brings us on to the Indian desert, Marusthari, as we go to call it. Marusthari is uh, to be studied from a perspective of uh, at least uh, five different elements. Uh, one is uh, from a perspective of its geology, another is from a perspective of its uh, physiography, the third is uh, from the perspective of uh, its uh, drainage conditions, uh, the fourth is uh, from a perspective of climate, and uh, accordingly the interrelationship perspective that develops and that comes up in this region. The desert region has been uh, particularly significant in the light of some of the questions that have been framed out of it. Uh, one of these questions that was, that's in your screen, which of the following isohyte separates Marusthali from Rajasthan Bagar? Now Marusthali is uh, the desert proper and the question is going to be about uh, which is the one that separates uh, Marusthali from Rajasthan Bagar and that is the isohyte, that is uh, the lines joining places having the same amount of rain. Uh. The answer is uh, 25 centimeter isohyte, 60 centimeter isohyte, 10 centimeter isohyte, and none of these above. Now that was one of these questions here. In this case, here, the most likelihood of uh, the answer is being, of course it cannot be correct in this case, here, right? Because Rajasthan Bagar is a more of physiological feature, more of physiographic feature rather than a climatic feature. But then, uh, Bagar is going to be separated from it uh, with uh, the help of 25 centimeter iso height and then the amount of rainfall keeps on decreasing towards the west into Marusthari proper of South uh. Second of this question is uh, there is a match list 1 and list 2 and select the correct code given below that is list 1 is Rohi and accordingly uh, A is Rohi and uh, the list 2 is uh, one is fertile track around the Raul Asia. Drian is alkali lakes eh, in the old river valley, C is dhans eh, and that is sandy uplands in upper Ganga, Yamuna, Dwap, D is bhur and that is eh, shifting uh, sand dunes in Rajasthan plains. Eh. That was to be matched. Eh. And in this case, eh, in uh, order to try to match it, eh, Rohi is indeed the fertile track around the Ravalis. Eh. Dhans are alkaline lakes in the old river valleys. Eh. Drian is the shifting sand dunes. Eh and Bhur is the sandy uplands in upper Ganga, Yamuna, Dwab. Now that is the way the question is going to be asked. Now of course we are not going to be confining ourselves only on these type of uh, questions uh, largely because uh, as we have been talking uh, too frequently on uh, this type of a channel that is uh, the moment most of these questions say uh, go on to get exhausted and in view of the large number of candidates appearing in the preliminary examination, what the UPC will going to do is that they will start asking questions that are going to be away from it, not exactly from the from a, the questions that have already been asked and from a given topic, they will going to bring in a lot of interrelationship and mind it, almost all of this NCRT has been exhausted. It can be any day that uh, the UPC goes on to change its uh, colors, uh, as this one is going to say, change its uh, wings, change its uh, trend and so on. We are only saying that is it is better and safe to be on a, to be well prepared in order not to waste any type of an attempt. The whole of Maristari, whole of Rajasthan desert and whole of the desert proper of India is going to be studied from three different angles. Mostly it is going to be from a geological angle. We cannot go to pick up a climatic angle in this place eh, largely because of eh, the mechanism that is involved that will not going to suit a chapter of a eh, physiography. So it is going to be geology, it is going to be physiography and eh, some amount of a drainage condition associated with it as well. We are concerned about the origin of eh, that desert. Eh. That is going to be our prime concern in this case. Eh. How is it that Rajasthan desert eh, originated? Eh. The origin is eh, most of the people do going to think that it's a climatic desert, eh, but actually it's not. It is climatic desert, but that's not all about eh, the Thar desert. Eh. It's about eh, uh, it's a climatic desert. Eh, it's a physiographic desert. Eh, it's a geological desert eh, as well. And it goes on to comprise everything. It's a man-made desert as well because Thar has been one of those deserts eh, that has been most densely populated of all the deserts in the whole of the world. So 
to say that uh, it has been a digit that has been existing uh, and that existed for a long period of a time uh, in a digit form that's not going to be correct uh, and it's when sophistry going to know that uh, that is a uh, akbar used to play game even as far distance place as a uh, run tambor that means run tambor was a uh, having a savanna type of vegetation where uh, maybe cats used to prowl in this place uh, and uh, there used to be sufficient number of lions, uh, cheetah and tigers as well in this place because that's the type of a habitat uh, which is acquired by a lion and of course it must be having tall grasses. Run Thambur is no more a savanna land uh, now. That means uh, there have been some type of changes that have taken place. Uh. So it is a man-made desert as well.